Hi everyone, this is Piotr Kieszkowski from the Aquarium Television Definite Aquascape TV and this is the second video showing rare and interesting aquarium fish displayed at the booth, booth of Maidenhead Aquatics during Aquatics Live 2012 show in London. Unfortunately, most of the aquariums are decorated with plastic plants, but there are also some really nice tanks with more natural decoration, I will show them in the end of this video. Anyway, this is the first aquarium stocked with Zebra Otocinclus Otocinclus Kokama, Imperial Blue Rainbow Tetra Hyphesobricon Species Red Blue Peru, and Peru Orange Stripe Cori Corridora Species CW010. All these fish originate from South America, we start from the Coris, their other common name is Gold Laser Cori, because of the presence of these brighter shining stripes on their backs. Now we can see it better. In fact, this fish might be a variety of a very popular bronze cori, Corridoras ienies. But anyway, I have never seen them before. And the second species is Imperial Blue Rainbow Tetra, Hyphesobrican species Red Blue, originating from Peru. It was introduced to the hobby not very long time ago. In fact, it doesn't even have a proper, proper scientific description and scientific name yet. When kept in such bright aquarium as this one, they looked somewhat washed out, but they have really beautiful colors once they settle in a well-established planted aquarium. The next aquarium stocked with Coris and Rasboras. Coris are Corridoras Weizmanni originating from South America and Rasboras are Emerald Eye Rasbora Rasbora Dorsioselata variety Macrove Talma. Coris are hiding somewhere at the moment and uh, here is a group of Emerald Eyes. These fish originate from Thailand, Borneo, Malaysia and Sumatra. They are widely available actually, but I see them for the first time here, so I decided to film them anyway. Back home they live in blackwater habitat, so they look particularly attractive in either biotope aquarium or in planted aquarium with dark substrate. Here the layout and the light are too bright, so they look rather washed out. And now another aquarium, I just have to show it, even though fish displayed here are available in the hobby for at least 40 years now. These are Odessa barbs Pantia spadamia, one of the most beautiful species of barbs I know. This species first appeared in the hobby in the Ukraine and the name Odessa barb derived from Ukrainian port city. In, in 2003 it was discovered that their place of origin is Myanmar. This species is easy to keep and doing well in aquarium, but it's good to have a group of at least 10 individuals, because their behavior becomes really interesting then. And now for a change, fish which I have never seen before, I mean these Haikari Danios, Danios species Haikari. They originate from Myanmar and were first imported in 2002 and 2003. The yellow fish are males and the blue fish are females, even though they are sometimes being sold as two separate species. They seem to be easy to keep and breed in captivity and they will look best in a planted aquarium with dark substrate, so here they are rather pale. Ok guys, enough of these plastic plants, now let's see some aquariums with a more natural decoration. The first aquarium without plastic plants is this one, decorated with pebbles and some small twigs. It's a biotope tank imitating the habitat of a stream, it is stocked with yellow tail polka dot loach Yasuhiko Takia Splendida, uh, which originates from southern Laos. It lives in headwater streams with rocky substrate. This species can grow to about 10 cm, it require, requires clean water and should be kept in groups of at least 10 individuals. It has some really interesting social behavior, but unfortunately it has to be collected from nature, as there exists only one report about breeding in captivity. The second aquarium, also sort of a biotope tank, decorated with pebbles and twigs. I'm not sure if the plants here are real or plastic, but I think they are real. The aquarium is stocked with two species of fish from Asia. The first one is Glowlight Danio, Danio Choprai, originating from Myanmar, and the second one is Pandaloge Protomezon Pachekiles, 
originating from southern China. Panda loaches inhabit fast-flowing headwaters with sand, rocks and gravel. You can clearly tell this by the shape of their body, which is adapted to fast-flowing water. The water in the aquarium must be clean and well oxygenated, and the best food for panda loaches are algae scraped from rocks. This attractive coloration is displayed only by juveniles. When they mature, the spots become more diffused and not so distinct. Panda loaches do not breed in captivity, unfortunately, so only imported specimens are available on the market. And now we go to the second species, to Glowlight Danio Danio Choprei. It originates from Myanmar and is fairly popular in the hobby, but it's a really beautiful fish, so I decided to film it. It is a schooling species, so you should keep them in a group of at least 10 individuals. Ok, and now the last aquarium decorated in a more natural way, with stones, twigs and living moss attached to the coconut shell on the bottom. The fish here are bleeding heart tetras hyphesobricon erythrostigma. This is a very popular species, originating from South America. It lives in blackwater habitat and grows up to about 7.5 cm, so it should be kept in larger aquariums especially because it is better to keep them in larger groups. A very nice fish, but I present this aquarium mostly because it is furnished in a natural way, without plastic plants. Please note how natural it looks, comparing to all these previous layouts with plastic plants. Using living plants really makes the difference, both in aesthetic terms and also considering the well-being of fish. Ok guys, so this was the last tank which I wanted to show you today. If you like this video, don't forget to share it with others. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my page on Facebook or bookmark my website to be updated about new videos. And now, thank you for your attention. This was Piotr Kieszkowski from the Aquarium Television, Definite Aquascape TV.